Hello everybody, how are you doing? It's Wednesday night, it's Jeff Cook. We are back in the kitchen um, and something special that's been brewing for a while is this little relationship that we've got with you cook for the next three weeks. So um, hopefully you got your stash delivered. If you didn't, you've got the recipe anyway and you can um, get all the ingredients together and cook along with us tonight. We're making a lovely little quinoa crusted chicken and mushroom pie. It's going to be delicious. Um, all the flavors here that really work nicely together, um, which we'll get to in a second. Uh, but I want to know who's all here. So check in, swipe in, let me know. Pop it into the comments, say hi. Let me know if it's your first time cooking with us as well. And um, our challenges are off to a flying start and it's week one. Um, so hopefully you guys are off to a cracker and they're making the most of it. And we've got a rest day tomorrow. So, good opportunity to refuel, get some stuff back in the tank, and think a little bit about the first three days, and then we can finish week one strong. Let me know who's all here. Say hi, pop in. Um, it's good to have you guys with us. So, um, also let me know if you're new to you cook. Uh, maybe it's the first time you're giving it a try. Um, delicious meals. And um, if you haven't yet as well, you can go on there and check out the Jeff, Jeff approved options and go pop them into your uh, trolley for uh, next week and I'll get delivered. Just makes life a little bit easier sometimes. Everything's um, pre-portioned, ready to go, it's delivered to you, you can crack on. And one of the other values I think is also just not having to decide. Decision fatigue, nothing worse than you and Gria's here in the background nodding, you say to each other, what do you feel like for dinner tonight? I don't know, what do you feel like for dinner? You spend about 20 minutes arguing about what you actually feel like, you don't have to do that. There's something ready for you. So, uh, Gavin, how's it going? First time here. Uh, dinner's already sorted, so we'll do this soon. Brilliant. So, um, what have you cooked for dinner, Gavin? Fabulous. Um, and this might be just another one to add to the bank. So, if you've got your UK cooking, um, this will last a couple of days, but otherwise, all the ingredients are there for you. Sarah, how's it going? Um, Tamsin's new to you cooking already. Love it. Making your life a little bit easier, I'm sure. Um, which is great. Ava, how are you? How is life in Pine these days? I haven't seen you for a while. Um, and Kath as well, actually. Um, so hopefully someone there in the households got the duties tonight and is cooking with us. Um, we'll run through all the ingredients in a minute or two. Um, it wasn't a lot of prep to get done. Um, we can spend maybe five minutes just doing a little bit of prep, but everything's going to cook relatively quickly, which is beautiful. Um, let me go through it while we've got uh, a few minutes and everyone kind of swings in. You can see um, things rolling across the bottom there. I think the ingredients will all roll across as well in a minute. Um, Taryn's here. Hello, Taryn. How are you? I'm saying hi to all the other Jeffers. Um, but we'll only start cooking in about five or six minutes, so um, you can let me know how you guys are doing. Perhaps what challenge you are. Let me know if any one on one clients here and who's um, a coaching squad that you're representing. Adele, how are you? Um, so a few of our challenge peeps are here. Um, Jules went live a little bit earlier. Hopefully your first couple of days of training have been solid. I know, I know they are because uh, Jules put me through them. Coach Lucy is here. Good evening, Coach. Um, hopefully you're back in the kitchen with us as well. Gria is on our meal kit and fit challenge. She'll come pop in and say hi in a second. Um, and uh, maybe we'll find out from her what the first few days are like. Uh, we've still got more filming to do, so I'm going to see what Jules has up her sleeve um, because she's pushing it quite hard. Nice little combination of things. Strength and endurance, a bit of everything. There you go, sneaking into the corner. Oh, there she is. Hello, I didn't think that was done yet. <laughs> We're on the wide angle here. Hello, everybody. It feels like we haven't actually done this for a while. Um, I don't know. It took me a while to get off my chair and walk over. It's a long way away from That's the corner. Water. Yeah. And um, very, very committed. I'm very um, stiff. So what has it been like? What's the training? Been? Good, good. I'm just stiff. I overachieved and went for a run on the first day after the workout and didn't listen to the it. plan. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but it's good. What I've loved about it is uh, some strength, a bit of full body, a little bit of everything, which is great. Um, and I've seen some of the comments popping through. I know you guys are also feeling uh, feeling the heat. And my mom and my sister are on their first challenge. Nice. So it's nice for them to see the difference in challenge the workouts. Yeah, yeah, I'm loving it. My mom just sent me three very red, sweaty faces this morning. 
obviously she agreed that and it it's uh, it's only upward from there how the other challenges going as well the strength is smashing at the big falls looks amazing mm -hmm. as well um so that's all in the process as well adele training's on point your legs are sore um eating almost there no one so as long as your eating's almost there all the time you'll be fine remember guys we're shooting for 80 percent. you don't have to be perfect in the kitchen on the plate if you're there and thereabouts but you're consistent that's how you win and things like this as well whether it's a menu that we give you um or something like a meal prep service or whatever it is if it helps you with consistency that's how you're going to win because most of us are a little bit a little bit useless um when we have to make too many decisions and life gets in the way and then it's this and that and our consistency is all over the place that's the bit that we really need to work on well my team are loving the new cook options there we go. so quick and easy what's your team's name Oh, oh God. you put me on the spot. Um, I was fine, I was okay. Uh, Lee's here, prepped and ready to go. Magrit, uh, lovely here for Coach Tope, Titans. Uh, Kiri's here for Hades Heroes. Uh, Shani uh, from Team UCAN. Dinner's already made, but you always like to check if we did it right. Uh, we chatted about this last time. I remember that comment coming through as well. The most important thing is if it tastes good, mm -hmm. You did it right. Doesn't matter what it looks like, we do eat with our eyes, and we've actually got a um, session for our challenges that we're going to do um, all around plating and you know, getting things nice. We're going to get a food stylist in because it's it's nice to play around with your food as well. But most important is that it it tastes good. Kath is here. Hello, Kath. Hello, Kath. She's uh, joined our group too. Love is she? Yeah. Oh, nice. Your cheerleader. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Tash is here. And um, Tash. Tash, I know you're on New Cook at the moment as well, so hopefully you've got the, uh, the recipe out in front of you. My kids um, keep asking about you and saying, when are you coming to visit yeah. them? Um, Debbie's already started prepping just right for the weather at 8 degrees. Sure. Where are you, oh my Debbie? Goodness. Um, that is quite nice. A little pie. We've done a, we did a pie many months ago, and it was also a chicken pie. It was a low-fat one with a filo pastry. Um, this one's going to be lower carb essentially, um, so it's a nice alternative. But these flavors of chicken and thyme um, go so nicely together and it's going to warm you up, um, which would be great. So, a chicken uh, pie exactly. Beverly, good evening. Um, Adele for Team Gold Figures in the house. Uh, Charlene, good evening. Caitlin, how Hi, are Caitlin. you? Hopefully, you're cooking with us. Did I tell you, I met you the other day. Yeah. She was down here. She oh, was awesome. uh, at the office. Yeah. Um, threatening to cook with us at some point. Oh, come on, Caitlin. Uh, Coach Ed, uh, when are we doing a cook together? Ed, I keep trying to get you into the kitchen. The, the closest we got was our um, our bribe rookies. So next time you're in Cape Town, um, for sure. Um, Debbie signing in for Vic's Boiling Pot from the Vic Falls mm -hmm. Challenge. Beautiful. Uh, you can't read those. I can't read them at all. That's what I'm looking. <laughs> I did see Caitlin uh, say happy birthday, I think. Lizelle, how's it going? Uh, Caitlin's not cooking tonight. A belated happy birthday. Thank you very much. I celebrated another trip around the sun on Sunday. Halloween. Halloween, baby. Uh, Nadine's here. Also on the Big Falls Challenge. Um, Debbie, thanks for the delicious eating plan. Super. Guys, and... I'm so excited about what's coming up as well. So um, you need to watch this space because in the next few weeks, there's going to be amazing things in the nutrition space happening. We hard at work behind the scenes. So maybe a little bit while you see a little bit less of me, but um, I, I think we're going to rock your guys world. Just saying. Um, Coach Tash is cooking along. Super. Um, and we need to do that right for sure. Conrad checking in for victorious Vic Falls victors. Many V's on the tongue and lips there. Mandy, how's it going? Um, Caitlin says she's coming. <laughs> Natalie, good evening. Signing in for Sean's Shapeshifters. Yes. Um, and Alzan's Dynamic Downsizers. Um, Charlene's an alternative to quinoa flakes. Good segue. Let me go through the ingredients quickly. Um, so they are all scrolling down the bottom there, but obviously it's chicken. So we've got a beautiful bit of chicken. These are the mini fillets. You can use normal fillets. Just cut them into sort of bite size. Um, these mini fillets are great because they cook quite quickly. 
which is super. So we've got that, all right? They're going to go into the filling of the, of the pie with our carrots, um, and I've just cut them into, you see that? They're about that size. Um, but you can chop them however you like. I left the skin on for a little bit more flavor, um, just give them a little bit of a clean, but I think fla or flavor, yes, but also fiber. Uh, we've got our one onion that's just nicely diced. So the prep you had to do was dice that, dice your carrots, uh, and then um, chop your mushrooms. I like them quite chunky. Um, I like a little bit of texture and sort of a pie or stew or whatever it is. And um, so I've literally just cut them in half. Um, but whatever size you like, that's fabulous. Um, we've got 100 grams of peas. Half of it's going into the filling and half of it's going into our salad leaves. Um, we've got some thyme that's going to go into good flavor, so our filling. Um, then the quinoa and almonds are what's going to make the crust here. So the quinoa flakes, and um, essentially it's quinoa that's just rolled really flat. And it's a gluten-free, slightly higher protein version than oats, rolled oats. So as a substitute, if you don't have quinoa flakes, use cook, 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 cooking oats. So, this tongue is thick, and um, so you use those instead. Um, not the rolled oats, because they'll take a little bit longer to cook, but just your jungle oats. And um, we've got some chicken stock, it's going to get a bit of water, and cake flour that's just going to thicken it. Is this one cooked? No. Um, or it might be steamed. I don't know. Good question. Um, and then some almond milk. So that's everything that we've got there. If you need to do a little bit of prep, it's just the veg. Slice your carrots. Um, dice your um, onions, chop up your mushrooms, and we're going to get started with cooking our chicken. It's going to go into the pot first. So behind us here, um, Gria's going to get the pan on some heat there. Uh, a little bit of oil into the pan. Um, I'm going to season our chicken. Yeah, just some olive oil's good. A bit of salt and pepper. And that'll go in for three minutes. Um, okay, so our chickens just got salt and pepper, and it'll go into the pan. You catch up on questions as we're going through. Okay. So that was pretty simple. Um, Michelle's not cooking tonight, but we'll do it later this week. Um, this is a bank because it's also nice and quick, and what's great, you can double this and um, you can add it to your sort of meal prep strategy and they'll keep, keep quite nicely in the fridge just reheat it again uh, you could even freeze off some portions so it's a nice option to make a little bit more of um, if you need to uh lisa's using oats perfect um mandy if you don't have ground almonds um then you can and the quinoa flakes you can just use oats so quick cooking oats and um, that's fine in place of the almonds if you've got normal almonds you can just stick them in the nutri bullet of the ground and make ground almonds and um, otherwise i'm going to think here yeah, um maybe some coconuts could work actually uh, if you've got some ground coconut might work and um, otherwise just leave it out you can maybe add a little bit of oil or butter to your oats just so there's a bit of fat and components in there it's the only real place that we get some fat in this recipe so you often hear me banging on about it protein fiber and fat we've got a beautiful lean protein here from the chicken and we've then got our fiber from our carrots our onions our mushrooms our peas and our quinoa our lettuce, our everything. So nice high protein, a nice high fiber dish here. And then the fat, what rounds us off and makes it a balanced dish is from the almonds. So if you drop them, just try and add a little bit of fat somewhere else. Uh, Zell, nice to have your internet back. Nice. Because then you're able to join us. Um, Machabi is swapping in for the hazel cookie nuts. Love it. Uh, what challenge are you on, my child? Um, Yvonne, first time you're actually cooking along, you usually only watch, oh, you've made dinner. Isn't it that much more fun? Because I get to say hello to you. And you can let us know how you're going as we go. Belinda, how's it going? Um, Lisa, almost done. 
sauce looks saucy. So just make, so one of the things is when we add the flour a little bit later, it does need to cook for a little bit because that's what's going to thicken it. So if it's still looking a bit saucy, just cook it, keep it going. That's going to thicken up um, and it will also um, just reduce a little bit so some of the liquid will um, cook off. Um, Shani used cauliflower rice instead of quinoa flakes. Nice. There we go. We're thinking out of the box. So um, you're going to get an extra veg in there, which is great. You just won't end up with a crunchy end um, sort of end product, um, but it's a nice way to make a little bit of a swap. And um, so energy will be a little bit down on that and nutritional value up, which is good. Renata loves quinoa. Beautiful. Uh, Tracy, how's it going? Um, yes, man, the almond flour is essentially ground almonds. Um, it's just mold a little bit further, so you can use that as well. So if you've just got some almond flour, you can mix that with um, your uh, quick cooking oats. That'd be good. Alison, how's it going? Uh, Machabi can use any kind of flour, almond chickpea instead of wheat flour. Um, you can, it just won't thicken well the chickpea might thicken it quite nicely or you could use some corn flour i just use a about a teaspoon of it and um, if you're trying to keep it gluten free you can use any of those um options it does just help sort of thicken how's that chicken looking it looks about done there does it have to be cooked through no uh, no not entirely it's still gonna cook a little bit while it comes off the pan yeah. Yeah? So just wait till it's uh, not very pink anymore. We said there's quite a lot of pinkness. Uh, Yvonne doing strength four and enjoying the nutrition plan. Super stuff, Yvonne, well done. Uh, so my child is also on the strength with you. Lovely. Uh, Anik, good to see your name as well. Um, glad to be back uh, on the winter warmer challenge. That felt like eons ago. Um, it's supposed to be spring. We still feel a little wintry at times, um, but uh, happy to have you with us. Um, all right. So, chefs out. I reckon we cool there. So, if you look there, just kind of break a piece. If it's mildly pink, it's okay um, because it's going to carry on cooking. Everything. Carries on cooking even for a couple minutes once it's out of the pan. Um, and it's going into the oven after this as well. So just a little bit more oil in the pan. And then we're going to get our veg in. So our carrots, our onions, and our mushrooms. Okay. Yeah. Oh, lost them there. Lovely colors there, and now the kitchen will start smelling nice. Those onions and, and carrots um, give a nice little flavor and aroma. There we go. Stealing spoons. Um, Michelle cooked this um, on the 17th. It was delicious. Even got a thumbs up from Hubby. Super. It's a keeper. Also used brown rice instead of quinoa. Brilliant. So um, that's a beautiful thing. And I love it when people just adapt a recipe. So we, I, filmed the, I filmed the Ed with Jules, um, which hasn't gone out yet. It's on our challenge. I think it will be next week's one. But some of the mistakes that we make in the kitchen, one of them is not reading a recipe. We don't read a recipe. And the other is sticking to a recipe um, come hello high water. So when people can adapt it and think, what have I got in my kitchen? How can I change this? And when something doesn't quite work for me, that's where the magic happens. And sometimes, you know, things are a little bit different. Um, but if you're tasting your food and you're just, you know, not afraid to make some mistakes, you can get stuck into it. Um, it's, it's a good way to go. So read a recipe, but guys, always feel free to adapt it um, and do what you want with it. All right. Um, Anik, could you use nut nutritional yeast as an alternative to the flour? Uh, yes, you can. It actually will thicken a little bit, which is nice. It will also um, add a little bit of protein in there. It will give a little bit of flavor, sort of a little parmesan kind of flavor, and that plays nicely with thyme and um, chicken and everything. Um, so that, that will work. 
Lisa, the Nutri Bullet really beats the almonds to a pulp. It does. Um, uh, Rochelle says, Yummy, Nancy, loving it. Hayley, uh, really loving the new menu on Syrian Bex Challenge. Beautiful. And nice to have new dishes. Um, done a few challenges and needed a change. So we try to keep it fresh for you guys which is super so some people stick to a plan easier when they're eating the same thing or quite um similarly all the time which is okay and um, whatever works for you but some people need a little bit of freshness something a little bit different um so we do that um yvonne got some basil from your garden can you use it why not bang it in there and um, what i'd maybe do is actually keep it for the salad so the basil the lettuce and then the peas will go quite nicely in the in the salad together and then you've got the thyme flavor that's going to carry through on the pie that the, the salad will be nice and fresh from that and um, some freshly um, picked basil is always delicious um, so perhaps you could do that um nancy cooked the quinoa for the first time and going to eat it for the first time um brilliant Quinoa is one of those things as well, when you, once you've sort of tried it and you've, you've got, because you can overcook it and it becomes a bit mushy and it's not so nice, um, but you nail the cooking, um, quick idea, if you're not using sort of flaked quinoa, you want to just cook it, it's a great alternative to other grains or rice or couscous, one, gluten-free, if you need to follow gluten-free, it's also nice and high in fiber, but a, a bit more protein than the other grains, so you can use it as a protein-rich option particularly if it's plant-based, but it just balances the dish beautifully. Um, toast it off in the pan, double the volume water to quinoa, cook it off um, until that water is just about gone, but not too mushy, um, and it will be lovely. You can do a batch of it and it in the fridge for a while. Um, okay, how are we looking there? So our crunch will all come from there. Um, so we just want those carrots to kind of cook a little bit. The smaller they are, the quicker they're going to cook. Um, so if you rush for time, you're always just going to cook something a little bit sort of smaller and it'll cook, cook quicker. Um, but if you're not in a rush, just hanging around, doesn't matter so much. Um, must we use the same weight of nutritional yeast with flour? Uh, I'd maybe use, how much flour do we have here? Uh, 40 moles. So it's, uh, okay. I'd maybe use about half of that because nutritional yeast can be quite a strong flavor. So you just don't want to overpower it. Um, and I'd maybe just add a little less stock and almond milk. So it's not as runny. Much have to play around with the, the ratios a little bit there. Uh, Charlene, I love that the challenge menus are seasonal. Thank you very much. Ooh, just wait, Charlene. That's music to my ears. So much uh, work on seasonality going on as well. Um, so I love that kind of feedback. Haley, uh, quinoa flakes different to normal quinoa. They're from the same thing. They just essentially like what a quick cooking oats is to a, like a oats uh, berry kind of thing. So um, they just roll really flat so that they cook quickly. Um, so it's an alternative to oats um, or rice flakes or, or something so it's just very very thin but it comes from the same same part of the plant um sarah you want to know that as well um do you mean what Haley asked i assume so so um that's all it is it cooks a little bit quicker to be honest you could use normal quinoa if you want to do if you didn't have the flakes um which is fine um or you can use oats cooked green oats which is pretty much how are you doing then? Are we good? Good. Okay. I've turned it up a little bit for you. All right, so what we're going to do, um, peas and thyme will go in now. So peas, 100 grams, half of it will go in. So 50 grams, which is about uh, two tablespoons, I guess. We just want that to cook through. Um, and then I'm going to get some thyme going here so just gonna pull it off its stalk and, and give it a rough chop that flavor that smell of thyme is one of my favorites 
One of my favourites of all time. I think my mother's here tonight. She'll enjoy that pen. I think she told me some of you didn't have peas on your recipe. So, well, you had it in the steps, but not in the um, ingredients. If it's not there, it's not the end of the world. If you do have some in the freezer, you can actually add them now and they're going to defrost and cook anyway. Um, and then the others you can put under some running water and add to your salad in a second. So, I've got about a tablespoon here of thyme, just a quick rough chop. Those colors are looking good there. Behind us, Greer's on point. Nailing it. Okay, we're gonna bang that in. Okay, so peas, half the peas are in, and, and chopped thyme. It's gone in. Your kitchen should be smelling nice. Let me know what it smells like. Um, I'm going to dilute my chicken stock um, because uh, that's going to go in in a second um, after we've got our cake flour on. And then we'll mix everything together and put it in the oven. So preheat your oven if it's not already. We want it at 200 degrees. We're going to get a little bit of boiling water um, to mix with my chicken stock. 300 ml of that. How are you guys all doing? Okay. Got water. Chicken stock in, and I'm going to give it a little mix around. How are you doing, man? Huh? In a trance. Um, Okay, so that's my chicken stock. I'm gonna get a little bowl. So the almonds and quinoa um, are gonna get mixed together. Um, just so that they're in the same bowl to get sprinkled on at the very end. Okay. Okay, look, do you wanna add a little bit more oil? So you can add a little bit of olive oil, about a, a tablespoon, um, or if you want to, some butter. We choose an olive oil just for slightly better fat profile. And that's our quinoa flakes and almond flour. Um, if you've got roll, if you've got oats, quick cooking oats, that's fine. Uh, and your nutritional yeast, you'll just mix it together like that. That'll go on at the end. Okay, so the oil's in, and then we're just going to put in and um, sprinkle over our flour. Now, sprinkling here is important so that it doesn't all drop into one place, and it's going to be harder to mix it. Just sprinkle it over, so it's nice and evenly distributed throughout the pan there, if you can see past the uh, black and white spots of our cats in the background. Oh, now we're going to go left handed. The cat. The black and white and cat. Dangerous. Pretty good there with the left hand, actually. Look at it go. There we go. And then give it a stir so it's nice and evenly coated. It'll pick up some of that fat. Okay. Uh, Mandy's using normal quinoa, which is cool. So just mix it with your almond flour. You're just gonna have a nice, sort of a little bit more crunchy end product. Um, so just, uh, yeah, because it's uncooked, it'll be quite crunchy because it only goes in the oven for like three minutes. Um, so let us know how it turns out, man. Um, but otherwise, oats will be better. Um, Alzan, do you have to add water to your quinoa or rolled oats or your stock water? No. So um, the stock and the almond milk is going to go into the pan now um, because that's going to help every thicken up, everything thicken up there. This is just going to get sprinkled on at the end as the kind of the crust um, to make the, the crunchy topping of it. Okay. Yeah. 
We've got kids on loose. Okay, so we've got that. Now, get a pair of scissors. We want to add your almond milk. We've got a cup, 250 mils. Um, and we've got 300 mils of, of stock. And we're going to pour both of those in. And slowly. Does it also separate? Uh, we asked if... No, it's not a stupid question. No such thing as a stupid question. Pouring it in slowly and just mixing it so it's all the flour dissolves. You can see there in the background. And I'll stop the burn as well. Yeah. Looking good. Make sure you get all the little bits that have flour. And you need to keep stirring now, just so that once the flour starts to heat, um, it doesn't go lumpy. So um, if you spread that flour over and you sprinkled it nicely, gave it a stir, added your liquid and, and got stirring um, sort of quick enough. And um, once it cooks, it will hopefully be dispersed and it's not going to get all lumpy. Um, Lynette's very late. Uh, sorry, you'll go back and catch up. Not a problem, Lynette. Um, should we give you a quick rundown? In a second, I'll let you know exactly where we are. We're just thickening our sauce um, and then we're going to pour over our topping once it's thick. Stick it in the oven for five minutes so it gets crunchy and we're done. Super simple. And I'll just do the salad while that goes. Um, Ilza, looking good. Just finished doing your daily exercise. Beautiful. Now it's time to make sure you get some good food in. Um, recovery, important. Um, guys, if you're missing one part of the puzzle, it doesn't matter how hard you train. If you're not eating well, you're not going to get the results that you want, whatever those are. Um, and if you're eating well and you're not exercising, you're also going nowhere. So make sure you're ticking all your boxes. Um, Mandy decided to cook the quinoa a little first. Well done, man. On it. On it. Um, yeah. Hello, Mandy. Did, did Andrew do the epic, man? Um, hopefully it went well if he did. Um, actually, didn't realize it was the epic the other day. Um, so hopefully it was a successful one if you did. All right, guys, so that's going to bubble. You see it coming to heat in the background there and it'll start to thicken. So just give it a stir every couple seconds um, so that the flour doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan and get lumpy or anything. Um, it looks like it's getting thick already. Cook for a couple minutes um, and then we'll get started. Well, then it just gets our topping, um, which is good. You might, I might season that actually. Just a little bit of salt. Do you want to taste that and just let us know how salty it is? It's quite salty. Yeah, I'm trying to blend it. Huh? I said it looks very hot. Right. So, make sure you taste them. That's one of the other mistakes we often make in the kitchen is we don't taste stuff often enough. So we don't know how to adjust our seasoning and it'll make or break it. Um, oh, Mandy's doing March as well. Yeah, good. So still time to train. Okay, so ours tastes delicious. So I'm sure yours does as well. Right. Um, and once that's thickened, we're going to for the chicken. Either if your pan like that, if you've got a pan that can go into the oven, just leave it in there. Um, I have now messed two anyway. Um, otherwise, we've just got a pie pan where our chicken is sitting anyway. Um, whatever will work in the oven at 200 degrees for a couple of minutes and it will be sorted. Okay, it's starting to thicken nicely. You can see as stir a little bit slower there. You can see how the liquid just takes a bit longer. Like if you drag your spoon so that you can see the bottom of the pan. There we go. Lovely. It smells good. My mouth's actually watering. Um, okay, we'll just give that another minute to thicken. Let me know how your guys is doing. Hopefully it's thickening up. If it doesn't, you just got to cook it a bit. So that flour will take a little bit of time to thicken doesn't thicken as quickly as like corn flour does. Um, and if you've used something else, it might also take a little bit of time. 
um, and that steam is the water reducing off there, so that's also going to help it get thicker. Right. It's looking good. Smells great. Lovely. Hope you guys got your orders in for you cook for next week as well, um, and used your your Jeff coupon for twenty percent off. And um, if you didn't, you've still got next week. And you can still get next week's um, discount, which is great. So any of our clients, if you any of our challenges, um, one on one, whatever. If you're in Jeff Life, anything, um, go use it. You can um, filter for our Jeff approved options. Shani, this was a very successful recipe with two toddlers made extra so they can have some for lunch tomorrow that makes me happy um lovely that the kids are getting stuck in as well mandy it's looking and smelling good taryn yum tasting so good super all right sorry can we look nice and thick yeah you're just going to pop our chicken back in so it can pick up some of those juices turn it down slightly bit okay Go. Look at that. And then when that goes into the oven, I'll whip up our salad for us. Okay, then do you want to stick it in there? <laughs> now we're going to see if the biceps are working there. This is a heavy pan. You're right. So. Teamwork. Okay, so get all of your ingredients into whatever pan or pot or pie dish or baking tray or whatever that can handle the oven. Flatten it out. Looks good. Okay. Um, and bring it nice and flat. Making sure the chicken is. I'm hungry, guys. Um, <laughs> uh, still a yummy recipe. We'll try the quinoa flakes or oats next time. I mean, the other thing is, guys, you could eat it like it is now. You've got a beautiful little um, par option. You could, if you want to do, top with some phyllo pastry. Um, it's a low fat pastry, which is fine. And you can do that as a, another option, um, or you could just leave everything off, or you could put some collie mash on top of there, or pumpkin mash, or anything. Um, there you go. Flat, <laughs> flat like Taylor Mountain. Okay, and then we're just going to sprinkle over the crust. Yeah, and then it's going to go in the oven for three minutes, nice and hot. Uh, Tessa coming in late. What do we do about no quinoa flakes? I'll let you know now, Tessa. The pie crust is going to be interesting. <laughs> Can't wait to see it, man. Um, Alzanios are still very saucy, just thicken with more flour. So if you um, if you stuck to the recipe numbers, um, you could just cook it a little bit longer instead of adding flour so first just maybe give it another three or four minutes and um, if it's still a little bit thin you can add you can add a little bit of flour jackie the recipe is delicious really loving the easy no mess no fuss you cook beautiful um whatever makes life a little bit easier guys so uh tessa coming late what do we do about a no quinoa flakes and um, you can just use quick cooking oats. So like jungle oats, the small ones, not the big rolled oat um, options. Um, that just takes a bit longer to cook. So you can use that instead. We've all got that, it's a bit easier to find. Okay, so look at that, beautiful. And that's just gonna go in the oven for three minutes. Three minutes? Yeah. Oh. Nice and quick. And then we're just gonna whip up, do we have any other leaves? So, any green leaf, no herbs, I mean. 
Yeah, let's let's put them in there. If you want to zhuzh up your salad with anyone. Okay. Make sure your leaves, there are a couple points to making a good salad. Everything needs to be the same sort of size. There's nothing worse than a leaf that you try and get into your mouth and it's hanging down here and you can't do anything with it. Um, so even your leaves need a chop or a tear or something. And I also like to season my lettuce with a little bit of salt. Um, just taste nice. Why are you looking like this? Not that. Half a piece, so we've got 50 grams in there. Did you say there was a minute? Oh, uh, yeah. Oops. So peas play nicely with mint, so it's not on the recipe, but we're just adding it for something different. And we do have some lemon as well, so I think we'll play around. But if you've got some herbs, it's a nice way just to not make your salad same same all the time. Um, Got a little bit of texture in your salad, flavor, and then some salt and acid. That'd be good. So see what's in your kitchen. If you've got a herb garden, um, go see what's growing. We had a random coriander pop out of nowhere from, I think, something we planted about a year ago. It went dead and now it's popped up again. So we've got that. Um, Little squeeze of lemon and so it's nice and fresh. It will be a it's good. quick and easy salad. There we go. Loving it. That's it. So in there, we've got our mixed greens, uh, some herbs that we're kicking around the fridge. We've got some basil and mint, and peas, and just defrosted fresh peas. A little bit of lemon zest, lemon juice, and salt. Be nice and fresh. Um, Lynette looks very delicious. Canvas delicious indeed. Uh, Stefan, how are you, sir? Lovely to pop in. I'm asking Coach Ed if he started cooking it yet. Um, I reckon Ed's maybe on dinner number two by now. Um, Is Ed a big so cooker? He's a big eater. So some somebody's got to <laughs> cook it. So I don't know if Mans is cooking it all for you. or um, I reckon Ed's pretty handy around the kitchen. You're going to have to get him in here um, and see what he's like. Right, so our salad's really good. Let's move that out the way. And once that comes out the oven, I'll have to show it like this. Okay. Give it a little bit longer, just so it's nice and crispy on top and a little bit brown, um, and then we'll be ready to. Okay, how's your guys' kitchen going? Should be smelling good. Um, and now we just wait a minute and we'll be done. I'm starving. I'm very hungry. Very hungry. We've had uh, three days of training now. So you've had Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So um, as everything builds up, it just gets a bit more important to eat well before your rest day tomorrow. Otherwise, you have a rest day and you end up spending a bit too long in that break. So make sure you guys aren't under eating um, and you get everything point so nice high protein option tonight good balance bit of protein bit of carbs bit of fat everything's in there um to make you feel good tomorrow's a rest day get a bit of act, sort of active recovery and what you doing tomorrow? what do you mean for your recovery oh it was gonna say work um i'm gonna go for a walk on the mountain there we go guys a little hack on the mountain and um, beautiful before the day starts yeah. Is it crispy? I might give it a minute longer. It's just... Maybe it needs a grill, isn't it? Got the grills on. We'll show you guys what it's like. So we can all get... Let me bring the other view in there. And this... So, end. Beautiful, guys. 
lovely how good is that green salad and then we'll stick that in just starting to turn it just needs a few more minutes um but just so you don't have to listen to our roach um and that's it ready to go um and uh smelling good gonna taste good i'll post a little pic once it's on the plate and it will be ready to eat in a second so hopefully yours tastes as good stick your picks up um we love seeing them um tag me and them stick them onto jeff nourish into your challenge um facebook groups wherever um, let us know how it tastes and if you change them play around with it and um, it's always good to see them and um, guys thanks for joining us manly doing strength four challenge with louis and nicole looking forward to rest day tomorrow i'm sure um, i'm sure you are uh taryn uh, marie says it looks great super guys and um, have a fabulous evening Ozan. thanks very much as well and um, enjoy the rest of the week make the most of your day tomorrow um, and then we finish the week strong week one tick, tick. Until next week, guys, we'll be back with you, Cook, again next week. Lovely little um, uh, prawn dish. I don't know. Um, squid pasta. We're doing squid pasta, actually. So that's going to be quite lekker. Um, so come and join us next week as well. Tracy, uh, yours was not done yet. Um, I was all going um, just for another two or three minutes. And just put some nice brown on the top. Alzan, good evening, Judith. Um, keep well in Scotland. Nice to have you. Guys, have a fabulous one. We'll see you all soon. Bye. Bye.